This is an all-purpose moving average graph. The formula is here, but that is not the purpose of this lecture. For example, here if I type 10, it will become 10 period moving average. If I type 2, 2 period moving average. And if I type 18, that would be 18 period moving average. So those zero values, I do not want them, depending on how many period moving average I'm computing, some zeros will appear there, and I don't want them. Let me go inside the formula and make a change over here. This is the formula. I have said if we have not reached that point, put space. Now I change space to in A. And now, if I draw the curve, zero values are not there. Forecast or is only for those periods that I have forecast. But the difficulty is I have a lot of NA here and I don't want it. So what I will do, I will go here and I change the color to white. Now I don't see those NAs, but I also do not see the numbers. What I will do then, I will go to conditional formatting, new rule, use formula, and then for formula I said, if this cell, and I unlock it, I remove the dollar signs because I am going to copy it down. It is greater than or equal to zero. Format. Font. Black. Okay. Okay. Then I use the same format painter and now everything is fine. I don't see NAs. I see all the forecasts and the graph only shows forecast for existing forecasts. Thank you very much for attending this session.